всю, а что и не еще и всю, и уж прото. А что все не еще и я умер? Ну, тут побережай, я дай. Да тут я гаража с паврой беру. Аж гибас. Зелка гибас. Скажи, спутник. Мандрик, это все глайка. Пойду, мандрик. Uh, well, Jorgis, uh, I understand that Isaac is your first feature film. Yeah. I, I don't believe you. <laughs> I absolutely don't believe you. This was one of the most remarkable films on every level, from the artistic look, the use of lighting, direction, the script, the story. I mean, this is, I'm not to exaggerate, but this is Citizen Kane level stuff. I really think, you know, Orson Welles' first film what he did with Citizen Kane. This is a Lithuanian Citizen Kane. I mean, it's just, I mean, I've watched it twice. I really have. Wow. It's wow. just amazing, incredible achievement. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, I'm really honored. How's that to start the interview, huh? <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> well, you know, um, I, I made four short films uh, and uh, after film school, I, I worked for three years with, uh, Lithuanian director Sharunas Bartas in in his films, so you know I I, I had a, a a good teacher and you know um, I don't know uh, well uh, I tried uh, you know myself in while working uh, with him I tried myself in every position you know I started from set dressing then I was. Uh, uh, camera assistant then second camera then I, I did the lights the sound so you know I just um, yeah I I was everywhere and you know just uh, learned from him a lot you know uh, so he's a great made, teacher made, <laughs> great yeah. teacher well yeah, your film Isaac deals with the participation of Lithuanians in the killing of Jews during the Holocaust specifically the Lit Litkius garage massacre this is the first time I've heard of it and that opening scene behind me, the hatred depicted, it brought me to tears. It really did. It was just so visceral. Uh, well, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's the first act of Holocaust, you know, uh, in Lithuania. And it's the first act which was carried not by Germans, but Lithuanian collaborators. And, uh, and yeah, and... Uh, this event, you know, uh, it's uh, well known in Lithuania, and we also have, uh, I think, uh, 14 or 16 real pictures from this massacre. So, yeah, it really helped me to put it on film, these pictures and, 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 and the stories I read, because I did a big re research on this event in the... Uh, in the KGB ar archives we have in in, in Lithuania, uh, uh, yes. Yeah. So yeah, it was, and I talked with um, even with s s survivors of, of the Holocaust in, in Lithuania. So there was uh, a big job done, and and yeah, and uh, so the film is based on a short story by Lithuanian writer Antanas Kema, and he writes uh, in details about this massacre. It's the opening uh, scene in his short story as well. And yeah, so I had uh, um, lots of uh, material to work on and to, 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 to create it as, as realistic uh, as it was, I guess. And you did a single shot for that opening scene. And you know, what were the challenges in that? I mean, how long did it take you to rehearse that? I mean, it looked almost like a documentary. Uh, well, yeah, uh, the the interesting thing that uh, it was the first scene we shot in in this film. Uh, so uh, it was the the biggest scene and it was the first scene. So uh, uh, well, uh, we we rehearsed it for two days. Uh, we had there around uh, three hundred uh, pe people. Uh, acting and um, so uh, I had uh, uh, five of my colleagues directors uh, from Academy who helped me to direct the scene uh, all of them had uh, groups of people uh, which were, they were directing um, and and yeah and so I think uh, we made uh, 
twenty uh, eight minute takes because this one shot is eight minutes long. So yeah, and uh, well, it, technically it was very di difficult, and uh, I had uh, a very big te team working there uh, from you know even a, a, a cameraman. Uh, he had like three assistants just mo mo moving away the people, you know, and and yeah, and uh, special effects, then you know, uh, fires, uh, horses, uh, I don't know. Uh, motorcycle shots and then you know this uh, uh special effects uh control chaos Yergi. Yeah. well yeah yeah it was chaos and uh, but uh, the main thing uh, that helped me to control this chaos was uh, the um, actors uh, in each group i put it you know three from three to four actors uh, who were helping the directors to control these people because the people, uh, everybody who acted in this scene were not even extras, you know, uh, they weren't working uh, as an extras, they were just pe pe people from the street, you know, the, uh, the people, the faces who we saw uh, in the in the neighborhood, it's, it's the station neighborhood, so you can imagine the fauna there, you know. Uh, so yeah, uh, and uh, so yeah, so yeah, but uh, um, I don't know. Uh, the funny story is that uh, yeah, after after we <laughs> after we shot the scene, uh, uh, some of the people left uh, uh, the set with the closes of 1941, and my friends told me stories after a week or two weeks ago that they saw people uh, drinking in. In the parks, uh, dressed like in 1941. So, and that's that's amazing. And then the film jumps to 1960s, 1964, where yeah. our main our main character wants to uh, produce a film uh, documenting or dramatizing the massacre, but the Soviet Lithuanian officials want to stop the film version. Uh, and there, and the characters are always under surveillance. So the, yeah. this Cold War aspect comes into your film. Yeah, well, uh, uh, it also this um, this idea came uh, when I uh, did did my research in in, in the archives. I read uh, some uh, stories um, of uh, of um, uh, of uh, um, actors and theater directors who were uh, who were always under surveillance and even listened to the um, uh, tapes of surveillances you know and uh, so yeah so it it, it just uh, came to me that i can really use this um, in the film and <clears throat> yeah so uh, the thing is that uh, uh, the character yeah he comes back from usa from the free world uh, where he couldn't realize uh, himself you know and uh, uh, it, and he comes to to Soviet Lithuania. He's uh, greeted like a hero, you know, who who came back um, uh, from the evil world of consumerist society of uh, USA. But uh, and uh, and yeah, and uh, well, <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> deep inside, he's uh, a, a free world man, and uh, and he's crushed uh, by by. The, the regime and uh, and and we see do, during the film how how he's being crushed because Andrus is uh, already crushed you know by by one and and by Nazi re, re, re regime and then the Soviet regime he's like a puppet working for the regime so yeah and uh, he made so the wrong people angry yeah he made the wrong people angry <laughs> bringing that sense of liberty and freedom from the usa wasn't going to work in that so it just the yeah. movie builds and builds use so many single shots in this movie i guess uh if the interrogation scene really stands out was that an artistic choice you know or yeah well uh, the thing is that uh, i really wanted to um, uh to make this film uh, uh, to create it as uh, for one scene I have.